what's going on everybody um i'm just out here making a little uh uh worm bin uh i don't know really what the proper name is but what you do is you get a drill already done uh the little holes what it is is that right here you make some big holes and then when you get done you take a drill well this is how i can't do it one hand with uh, i'm using my phone to record but anyways um take this right here then you take take your worms and everything like that put it in the big hole hopefully the dirt all the dirt will fall out i have worms and everything i feed them avocados lettuce anything like that put your dirt in here a lot of people make a big deal about how to do this and everything like that but mainly this is this is it give me one second Well, all right, hopefully I can do this with one hand. Without making a mess. All right, really I'm just trying to get all of this in here. Like this. Then right here, I took a smaller bit, drill bit, made some little tiny holes for the water to drain. What I'm doing is just creating a worm tea factory, I guess. Worm factory is what really, I guess, is what you call it. You stack them like that. No, 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 no. My bad, my bad. I got it back. It's, hang on one second. Like that. That's not perfectly done. Then you take this, and right here is where all your uh, liquid goes. What you call worm tea, right here. Like I said, this is small. It ain't nothing too big. Uh, nothing fancy. Just something whip up real quick. There's the worms. Uh, hang on one second. Uh, like this What it is, the worms with the big holes, they'll come up to the top, eat the food out of here, like that. And then your liquid comes down to here. And then you just pick these up, and then you got some worm tea for your uh, herbs and garden and plants, fruit trees for whatever you would like to use them for and everything like that. So like I said, it's just something slapped together, give you an idea of how you would want to do it. Um, right, let me see. Uh, I should have brought the GoPro and set it up where I could actually do a good video, but uh, overall, that's the main idea. Once your liquid gets up to here, you just take these two out and uh, use this right here for, they don't take much, you know, for one plant to have a little bit of worm tea, what they call it. But, um, and everything like that um 
a worm is a male and a female and each worm will produce like four to eight eggs every six months i believe from if i'm not mistaken I, i'm not i don't know for sure but um i know they'll reproduce and then you have a whole lot it don't take much to uh to have a whole lot but um let me see if i can set my phone up right here and uh I don't know. I don't know if you can see really anything or not. Let me make sure I get this right. You make these holes smaller where they can't, you know, drop down into the uh, worm tee or nothing like I mean, into the tee or nothing like that. Uh, it's better to use five gallon buckets. Uh, and everything like that but I figure I try it like this just something you know I seen really wasn't using these things for nothing so hopefully like that and then you put, put a little bit of water right here and then uh, after time the, the worms will uh, produce and fertilize all of this and you know and that's how it becomes that but um then you want to put it like a cloth or something keep it down or something like that but um but thanks for watching this um it's probably ain't one of my best videos sorry for all the moving around with the phone uh like i said i should have got my gopro thanks for watching wilson uh wilderness tv uh today i might do another video uh or put something together i thought about throwing a, a top water buzz bait with a frog on the end uh down there but i don't know off some rocks and stuff see what happens but i might just do it in the morning or late this evening y'all have a good one and thanks for watching